I have a question for you guys. Do you want to be famous? did technically come out in fifth when I was in fifth grade, but we don't talk about it. At first it was meh, but I went back and rewatched it in like sixth or seventh grade and I was like, I didn't even get through the first episode. Like, God, this is bad. Oh, I am so sorry for the voice actors who had to work on that show. You deserve so much better. But that's beside the point. I remember a Veilski Bum 94 video from a few years back s with an article saying, quote, Total Drama Island, the world's most hilarious reality show is back and better than ever with two new seasons. With no parents, no phones, and no mercy, the new animated series will introduce an updated cast of quirky, iconic teen contestants as they face hardcore competition, brutal eliminations, and more drama than ever before. Total Drama Island is produced by Fresh TV for Cartoon Arc and HBO Max and distributed internationally by Cakes. On how the new season will be different from the original, McGillis noted, there are two things we are changing up ever so slightly. The first big change is leaning into diversity. We feel that not only is this a moment we can celebrate diversity, but this is the show that celebrates diversity. We have a Latinx character, we have several black characters, East Asian, South Asian, an amputee, two LGBTQ characters, who will have a relationship because our audience loves to ship. And to back that up, we have a writer who represents each of these cultural perspectives and is a young, fresh, funny voice. That's five new writers in our room who are infusing all kinds of new humor and new energy into the show. That's a big change for us, and one that we found is only making the show better. I'll leave a link to both of those videos in the description, but you know that I am a SUCKER for showing diversity in media, especially with my short film that I... you shouldn't watch. It was very bad. And especially since we're gonna have two LGBTQ characters. I just... And as a lesbian, all homosexuals have this thing in our brains called the gaydar. It goes by different names depending on what your sexuality is, but the point is this. We can detect when we are near a fellow homosexual. And my homosexual radar was going off the instant I saw this character. Now sometimes, dear Webiverse, my gaydar doesn't function completely well, so I could be wrong. We won't know until it comes out later this year! It's gonna come out in like the next one! It's October... Wait, no, 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 hold on. I'm not gonna panic. I'm not gonna get my hose back. weird one in my school because I'm the one who freaks out about cartoon ships and new cartoons coming out and you can see why that was a voice crack the point is I can't wait for the new season and I just wanted to talk about it even though there's probably gonna be a, like three people viewing this I'm just really excited I'm really happy and I'll share more details about it when we get more details but for now I can't wait and also expect some fan art of the new characters coming soon because I love their designs and I can't wait to see the character with an amputee especially knowing that I have a really close relative who's been with a lot for the last few months who had recently had to have his leg amputated and now we're pretty sure he's going to get a prosthetic leg we're not well I'm not sure how I don't know if it's gonna be like one of those robot ones or like the one that looks like a fake leg? I, I, I don't really know. But I'm really excited and I'm really happy and I can't wait to see it. 